Hello there guys, how's it going? In this video I want to take a close look at the Chuko Nu. Not only is it a really cool unit in Age of Empires, but it's also a very unique unit in the fact that it is one of the only units to fire multiple arrows. This makes it pretty complicated and also has a lot of mystery around it. Not, not many people really understand exactly how the Chuko Nu works. So we're going to use some of the information we learned in the last video about the hidden armors and attacks that units have to look in depth at exactly how the Chuko Nu works and hopefully gain a better understanding about this awesome unit. So the first thing I want to do is have a look at what hidden armors and attacks the Chuko Nu actually has. So the Chuko Nu actually has a total of 6 attacks. Those attacks are 2 bonus attack versus spearmen, a 0 attack versus standard buildings, a 0 attack base melee, a 0 attack cavalry, a 8 base pierce damage, and a 0 attack against rams. They also have four armors. These are zero base melee, zero archer armor, zero base pierce armor, and zero unique unit armor. Now these armors are pretty self-explanatory. Obviously every unit has a base melee and a base pierce, and the Chuko Nu is an archer, and it is also a unique unit. But we don't really want to bother ourselves about the armors, because that's not really the interesting point here. The interesting point is all of these zero attacks against different units, and also the fact it has both a base melee and a base pierce attack. Now another thing here as well that you guys are probably unaware of, is that when a unit fires an arrow, that arrow is technically another unit in the game. Now most units have a unique arrow that they fire. The Mangadai fires a different arrow to the Chuko Nu. And the Chuko Nu has a very special arrow. Because the arrow that a Chuko Nu fires also has a 0 base melee and a 3 base pierce. Most arrows that are fired by a ranged unit have no attack value at all, and they simply carry the information of the owner so that when they hit the target, they're inflicting the damage that the owner has. Because the Chuko Nu fires three arrows, it would be really overpowered if every single arrow inflicted the same amount of damage as the first arrow. Now the Chuko Nu does 8 pierce damage, which means that every arrow after it, in theory, would also do 8 pierce damage. But that would be really high, especially once you get the Elite Chuko Nu, which would be firing 5 arrows, a total of 40 damage output if all of those arrows were to hit the same pierce damage as the base unit. This is where the extra melee and pierce attack for the Chuko Nu's arrow comes into play. Now the very first arrow that the Chuko Nu fires is used to transmit the data from the Chuko Nu to the unit that it hits. The first arrow will inflict full damage, and that damage is calculated based on the Chuko Nu's base pierce attack and any bonus attacks that it may have at the time. The second arrow and then on will not actually inflict full damage however, it'll inflict damage based on the statistic of the arrow, which is the zero melee and the three pierce attack. Which means an unupgraded Chuko Nu firing three arrows against a unit with zero pierce armor will inflict eight damage in the first arrow and then three damage for every arrow after that. So, what about all of these zero attacks that the Chuko Nu has? The Chuko Nu has a zero attack against rams. It also has a zero melee attack. Now you guys are probably well aware, if a unit has more pierce armor than the unit attacking it with a pierce attack, the minimum attack damage can be 1. If a unit like a ram with 180 pierce armor is attacked by any unit that fires an arrow, it will still do 1 damage, regardless of the fact that the pierce armor is higher. So, in theory, you might assume that these zero attacks allow the Chuko Nu to do an additional 1 damage to units of that type. Let's say, for instance, the zero melee attack. When the Chuko Nu fires an arrow, its arrow does 8 pierce damage. But the zero melee attack doesn't add an additional damage to this. Even though the zero melee attack exists, an extra damage is not inflicted, which basically means that these extra attacks actually have no impact on any units in the game. 
Of course, that's not how it is. There is always an exception to the rule. And now, we're going to look at something that is going to be very complicated, and hopefully I'll be able to explain. Rams. Battering rams. The interesting thing about battering rams is that they have minus three melee armor. And that makes a kind of interesting predicament. What happens when a Chukonu fires at a ram? The Chukonu has melee damage, and it also has pierce damage. However, because the ram has 180 pierce armor, the damage that a, a Chukonu can do with a pierce attack is a maximum of 1. But the damage that a Chukonu with a melee attack can be 3, even if the Chukonu has 0 melee damage. Most archer units in the game don't actually have a melee damage value, which basically means if it fires an arrow, it will only do a maximum of one damage to a ram. However, because the Chukonu has this zero melee damage, and because the Chukonu's additional arrows also have this zero melee damage, although they have no explicit bonus against rams, they kinda do, and it's coming from the rams side of things. Each arrow that the Chukonu fires that hits a ram will do 3 damage, including the additional arrows that it fires as well, meaning that a fully upgraded elite Chukonu can do a total of 5 times 3 damage to a ram with each volley of arrows it fires, but that's a total of 15. Obviously then, this makes Chukonu extremely powerful against rams, but this doesn't really fully explain how the game decides which attack to use in which situation. In reality, it's actually fairly simple. Overall damage is calculated as the total of all attacks minus the total of all armors that match. However, if the result is equal to or less than zero, then the overall attack is defaulted to one. Let's break down what happens in the Chukonu versus Ram situation. The Chukonu has 0 melee damage, 8 pierce damage, and 0 Ram damage. The Ram has minus 3 melee armor, 180 pierce armor, and 0 Ram armor. To calculate the damage inflicted, we would do 0 minus minus 3 plus 8 minus 180 plus 0 minus 0. This gives us 3 plus minus 172 plus 0. However, there can be no negatives here. It's not possible to do negative damage. So, the minus 172 is defaulted to 0, leaving us a total of 3 damage, which is exactly how much damage the Chukonu does to the ram. It's important to note that if the Chukonu had no melee attack, then the melee armor of the ram would not come into play in this calculation, and the overall total would be zero. This then would end up being defaulted to one, meaning that the Chukonu would only do one damage per arrow to the ram. Anyway, I hope I managed to explain that clearly. I know it's not the easiest kind of concept to get across, and with a little bit of breaking down, hopefully that made everything understandable. It really does show then that Age of Empires 2 has an insane amount of complexity behind the scenes, and uh, the Chukonu is a fantastic, fantastic unit. So thank you very much guys for watching, it is much appreciated. Please leave a little like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.